<laughs> Together, Laura and Fee spells victory. What? No, it no it doesn't. You guys did go to Thor's Academy, right? Like, did they have spelling lessons there or anything? Like, English or whatever language you speak? That was not... That's not how you spell victory. There's no... There's not even a V in either of you guys' name. Hmm, say, what's that black book you've got there? Oh, this? I'm not sure myself, to be honest. It's just some old book I ended up with. Ah, would you mind if I took a little look at it? Not at all, how about? Green showed the book to instruct Thomas. Hmm, how fascinating. Is something the matter? Oh, my apologies. This is just so unusual that I ended up getting lost in my own thoughts for a moment there. You see, I believe this is actually one of a series of ancient books collectively known as the Black Records. Then you're familiar with it? <laughs> I'm not a scholar or a teacher of history for nothing, you know. But that said, all I know is that they exist, I'm afraid. I'm not sure what's actually written in the books. Evidence points to them containing information on the history of this land that's been lost to the ages, but beyond that... Wow, really? Have I piqued your curiosity? Why, I can scarcely blame you. I'm as giddy as a schoolboy just looking at it. Let me get to work on deciphering it right away. You mean you can translate that ancient script? I believe so, by cross-referencing other extant historical records. The book's seen some heavy damage, though, so I'm afraid what I can pull will be far from a cover-to-cover -cover adaptation. Still, if you're interested, would you be willing to leave it in my care, along with any others you might have, of course? By all means, here you go. Woo, I think that's about as much as I'm willing to get out of that. Wow, this is really fascinating stuff. Though, being able to read snippets and select passages just makes me more curious about the parts you couldn't decode. Unfortunately, the damage was even more extensive than I thought. This was the best I could do right now. I might be able to decipher more if I had access to a dedicated research facility of some similar institution. But, with these resources I have at hand, this is about all I can make out for certain. I see. I appreciate you for doing what you could. The battle in Heimdall is scheduled to begin soon, is it not? Hmm, I hope he doesn't wind up in the middle of it. Is something rather wrong, Father? Oh, hello. I hate to put anything more onto your young shoulders, but you may be able to help. Would you lend me your aid? I don't mean to pressure you, of course. I imagine your mind is already occupied with more pressing matters. Sure, we, we're free till noon, uh, for obvious reasons. What do you need? Thank you so much. My request concerns a fellow clergyman, a traveling priest who visited us this morning, actually. Priests travel? I guess they would if a region without a church had some religious duties they needed taken care of. You don't see them in the cities very often, but they're a relatively common sight in less populated areas. That's right. Ever since the war began, the church has been dispatching even more of them across Erebonia. It's our duty to support people in need, and traveling priests can do so in areas those like myself cannot. This priest, however, only made the briefest of stops here, saying he wanted to learn more about the state of the country. He left? Already? That is rather worrisome. There's no telling what the fallout of the Battle of Heimdall could lead to. The fact that he was an elderly gentleman only serves to compound my concern, too. If you could, would you mind checking to see whether or not he arrived safely at his destination? I think we can do that. It did be nearly impossible to do it in the time do it in time if we had to use the trains, but it should be doable with the courageous. Agreed. Let's see if we can get any updates on this old man's safety. So now that that's settled, where exactly did he go, Father? He said he was bound for the church in Celtic. He sounded very upset about what had happened there. I can only imagine he wanted to see the damage for himself. Understood. Okay, gang, next stop, Keldick. Thank you for doing this for me. I very much appreciate it. Is 
Excuse me, Father, but could I ask you a question? Has a traveling priest visited this church recently? He did, indeed. In fact, he even made it a point to visit everyone affected by the assault. The fact that a priest from the holy city of Arteria came all the way to visit was rather motivating for all of us. I see. Oh, I'm glad he made it here safely. In retrospect, there was probably no need to be worried when he was only a quick train ride away. He doesn't seem to be here, though. Well, he mentioned that he wanted to see more of the war's impact on the country firsthand. I imagine he's probably heading for his next destination by now. Really? Hmm, that's somewhat worrisome. I can't imagine the trains will be running as scheduled with the battle for Heimdall beginning at noon. Well, let's keep our fingers crossed. Did he tell you where he was going, Father? I'd like to go check up on him if I can. I believe his next destination was the Rehard Cathedral. That's just one stop away. If we leave now, we might be able to catch up to him. Yeah. I don't see anyone here who'd fit the bill of a traveling priest, but let's ask just to be sure. Excuse me, did a traveling priest happen to stop by here recently? He certainly did. He wasted no time in asking for details about the Croizen province's current state, too. So he arrived safely, thank goodness. I guess we shouldn't have been worried in the first place. Did you have some business with him, perchance? I'm not particularly fond of his kind, they have far too much leeway. Traveling or not, he is a priest. He is expected to uphold the order of the church and conduct himself as a man of the cloth. I well, wasn't expecting that, sounds like there's no love lost between them. Traveling priests don't appear to behave all that differently from the regular ones as far as I can tell. Do you know where he is now? He mentioned something about wanting to get a better grasp on the effects of this war. N not again. He has left again then. That's certainly a surprise. I'm more amazed by how quickly he's making his way around, right? Sometimes I feel like in this game, they... Like, one didn't feel this bad. It, you know, it was over the span of like six months. For the most part, it seemed to make sense. But the second game is supposed to be just two months long. And I feel like we do so much stuff. And like, sometimes the... the I think their scope of time is a little hectically crazy to be honest like I don't think it's like for example the spirit shrines in theory like we did all the spirit shrines like in one day and I think in the real world it would be like a day each for those like it just seems a little too too fast at times in the second game could you tell us where he went next he said he was heading to the Grand. much like here he wishes to visit the church there thank you for the information the trains will be stopping soon, so we should hurry up and find them. Let's get going then, shall we? And then in the first game, like, the trip to the Gram from Trista was like a whole day. It feels like this guy is going pretty quick. Like, this must be the fastest... He must be Sonic the Priest Hog. Well, isn't this a surprise? What can I do for you kids? Sorry to bother you, Father, but we have something urgent to ask you. They asked if a traveling priest had visited the church recently. A traveling priest? You mean that old dude who was here just a while ago? Uh, maybe? Man, he was built for an old guy, believe you me. Nice as pie, though. Would have loved to chat with him more if I had the time. Being a traveling priest must be pretty rough right now with everything going on, though. You're telling me. Well, it's good to know he's still alright, at the very least. Not that any of this makes any sense. What doesn't make sense? Traveling from Trista to Legram takes five hours, even without any breaks. Exactly! That priest somehow managed to not only get here faster than that, but also make stops at Keldic and Bereahard. How? That's an excellent point. Ordinarily, he'd only be arriving just now, even if he boarded a train at the crack of dawn. Do you have any idea where he is now, Father? He said he had something to do over in Roar Cathedral, actually. Figure he's probably already on his way. There's no way. Roar? But that's more than half a day's travel from here in ideal conditions. Uh, unbelievable. What could he want in Roar of all places at a time like this? That is not the question you should be asking. It doesn't matter what he wants. The question should be how the hell is he getting there so fast? You don't think he's already there, do you? It just doesn't add up. 
It sounds insane, but I want to make sure. Let's get over to Roar and check. Uh, cool. Good luck with whatever's going on, I guess. I don't know if he's Sonic the Hedgehog anymore, or if he's Goku from Dragon Ball Z and he's doing instant teleportation. Holy cow. Welcome to Roar Cathedral. Oh, it's you, Elisa. What can I do for you? Actually, there was something we wanted to ask you. They asked if a traveling priest had passed through the area. Ah, I think I know who you might be referring to. Indeed, a traveling priest did pass this way not too long ago. Inconceivable! What? That doesn't make any sense. There has to be some kind of trick to this. Besides, traveling priest or not, I doubt he needs to be on the move this much. Anyway, presuming he's already left, you wouldn't happen to know where his next destination was, would you? He mentioned he was headed for the chapel in Ymir, said there was something he needed to look into. You just missed him, in fact. We did. Well, in that case, with Ymir being three hours away, there's no way he could get there ahead of us, right? Yeah, right. Uh, he got here to roar before us. I don't... Yeah. We should go check it out, though. After everything we've been through so far, I wouldn't be surprised if we could. Alright, let's set a course for Ymir. Thank you for your help, Father. Think nothing of it. May the Goddess Light shine upon you. Is something the matter, Reen? You seem awfully flustered. I have something urgent I need to ask you. Has a traveling priest been here? A traveling priest? Ah, now it all makes sense. What does? Ho ho, you've been chasing after this priest for quite a while, haven't you? Always puzzled why you couldn't catch up to him, right? And now here you are, convinced that you would be able to arrive before him? He actually got here before us? That he did, I'm afraid. We were enjoying some tea together not that long ago. We were talking about all of you, in fact. It just so happens that Traveling Priest is an old friend of mine. He is. That's surprising. Whoever this priest is, he doesn't sound like your average clergyman. Although Father Bernard always did strike me as someone well-connected, so if anyone might know him. Regardless, he left a letter in my care. It's addressed to all of you, too. Here you are. Thank you. A letter for us? Hmm. Greetings, students of Class 7. You have my apologies for not taking the time to speak with you after you've come all this way in pursuit of me. I did very much enjoy our little game, however. While it may not have been able to while it may not have been able to catch up in the end, that courageous of yours is quite an impressive ship. I hope you'll make good use of it in the future. I also hear that you are working to improve the lives of this country's people and better the current situation. An honorable goal, if I may say so. This is an old nation, but change is always possible. With youngsters like all of you striving to improve it, it may have a bright future indeed. Regardless, I will now be departing for Western Erebonia. These are dangerous times, and I have duties as a clergyman to fulfill, and fulfill them I shall. Good luck to all of you in the future, wherever your travels may lead you. Barkhorn, the Traveling Priest. So I don't know anything about this guy. I don't know if this is the first time we hear of him, or if he's in one of the previous series. No idea. I have no idea how he managed to do all this. P.S. While it was not my intention, I seem to have caused a lot of concern to poor Father Paulo, Please do pass on to him that I am alive and well. I also seem to have wasted quite a lot of your time by making you pursue me from place to place. It's not much, but please accept the attached as an apology. A corpse is inside the envelope along with the letter. Seriously? He knew what we were doing the entire time. Hmm, I do remember hearing of one particularly strong old man among the traveling priests of the Septian Church. I wonder if he goes by the name Roaring Lion. Yeah, see, that must be a reference to a previous game. I don't know him. Still, he managed to outrun us every single time. Was he using a high-speed airship or something? Why would a traveling priest have access to something like that, though? Did they use them in parts of the uh, Septian Church? Come to think of it. I doubt you'd know, but the church is a fairly complex organization with plenty of divisions within it. The part I was invited to join was an organization called the Congregation uh, for the Sacraments. 
They're a group full of immensely skilled people who take on some unique missions, to put it mildly. No, it can't be. Regardless, trust me when I say you needn't worry about them. And if you would, please pass on the news of this well-being to Father Paolo and Trista too. <laughs> we will. The mystery now solved. That wasn't really solved at all. They all that that was the reverse of solved. It was like more mysteries now. There was no mystery at the start of this, and now there's lots of mystery. They all returned to Trista in order to pass on the message to Father Paulo. I see. I suppose my worries are all for naught in the end. While that's a relief, I feel terrible about the lengthy chore I've given you. It really wasn't that bad. It was kind of a learning experience. I never knew there were traveling priests who operated on this guy's level until now. The church must be really worried about this war if they're sending men like him to Erebonia. I should say so, though I can't pretend to have much knowledge about matters higher up in the church. Perhaps they concluded that Erebonians getting any more chaotic would destabilize the whole of Western Zemeria? A risk like that is nothing to celebrate, but I must admit that I find the presence of men like him in this region encouraging. As a fellow man of the cloth, I have a new standard to measure up to, and I hope that the aid I can offer people is on par. I'm sure it will be, Father. Thank you. Take care now. No matter how far away you may be, the thoughts and prayers of all of us who wish for peace will be with you. May the goddess bring you safely back to us soon. I hope so, Father. Back again, are you? You really are a meddlesome little boy. Sorry for thinking there's anything wrong with looking out for the sick and injured. How are you feeling? I've heard you're still bedridden. Oh, my condition's nothing to worry about. I'm a real toughie, for better or for worse. Maybe if I was a much frailer woman, then I would have been able to return to Adios instead of being left here. <laughs> not likely. She seems kind of different from before. What you've done can never be forgiven. Nothing in your past could excuse what you did as a terrorist. But I still want to know what made you hate the Chancellor so much you'd throw away your own life to take his. Would you be willing to tell us, Scarlet? I never had the chance to hear that part last time we spoke. I suppose. It's not like hiding it is going to do me any good at this point. It's not that special a story. But if you want to know that badly... I told you about my family, didn't I? Back on the Pantagruel. We had a big farm in Midwestern Erebonia. It was a really peaceful place. We had plenty of land, too. My parents were adored by the workers on it. And I loved living there. Then all of a sudden, we were told there was going to be a railway built through it. It was supposedly part of a national project with the Chancellor's backing. The land was all requisitioned, and before any of us knew it, it was no longer ours to call home. All we had was a pile of mirror. We were meant to take that and go find somewhere else to live, apparently. I wasn't even in Erebonia when it happened. By the time I got back in the country, it was all over. That farm was my father's life. We tried, but we couldn't find another place that could even begin to compare to the one we'd lost. And in the end, all we were left with was a pile of money we neither wanted nor had any use for. Crow told me a similar story about his own past. He said that his grandfather passed away afterwards. Um... My father was the same. He fell into the depths of despair and tried to drown his sorrows with alcohol. And Then he eventually died in an accident. And after that, we all just drifted apart. I don't know where the rest of my family is, or if they're even alive anymore. I don't know what to say. I don't think anyone could blame you for despising him after an experience like that. I know just how Crow feels. I suppose that's why I feel that if anyone can do it, it's all of you. If anyone can make him turn back, it's you. Scarlet, don't worry, we will. You have my word. Yeah, I mean, he's our classmate. Whether he likes it or not, he's one of us, and he can't leave us so easily. 
He needs to come back and take full responsibility for all the trouble he caused at the festival. Thank you for telling us your story. I hope you get better soon. <sighs> I've gotten myself caught by the world's biggest goody two-shoes, haven't I? Reen, we were just told what's about to happen. You're to take part in the liberation of the capital, yes? I'm sure you're aware of how dangerous this will be. More so than anything else you've done to date. I am. But this is our chance to bring the Civil War to an end for good. I know how you guys worry about me. But as a student of Thor's, I want to fight to protect my country. And as Elisa's brother, I want to fight to take her back. I'm sorry, but my mind's made up. I have to go. <laughs> we knew you'd say something like that. That we did. You're not a child anymore. You've grown into a fine young man. And I have no intentions of stopping you. Do what you feel needs to be done. Bring Elise home and rescue His Majesty, Reen. I won't let you down. It's hard to believe just how much you've grown in these past two months. I think it may finally be time. You deserve to know the truth, Reen. Dad? There's something that I've been keeping from you all this time. I've wondered when this day would come, and now I believe you're old enough and mature enough to handle it. And so, once all of this is over, I will tell you all that I know about your birth. <coughs> Darling, are you sure? I am. I'm sorry for not running this past you first, Lucia. But wouldn't you agree he has the right to know? And I'm sorry to you as well, son. I didn't intend to bring this up so suddenly. It's all right, Dad. I wasn't expecting you to bring up the issue now. In front of all my friends, no less. But somewhere in the back of my mind, I'd always suspected there was something you weren't telling me. I see. You did? <laughs> it's not like I had proof or anything. But I was found abandoned in a blizzard. Under those circumstances, a kid my age would freeze to death in a matter of hours. And yet Dad just happened to find me in the nick of time. I couldn't help but wonder if maybe there was more to it. I kept turning it over and over in my head, trying to figure out if there was something I was missing all this time. I see. I'm so sorry. We didn't realize you were suffering so much over it. <laughs> I don't think it's something you should have to apologize for. I know why you wouldn't tell me. And besides, I feel like I've grown a lot in this last year too, personally. Thanks to Elise and everyone I've met at Thor's, I can finally feel proud of who I am. And that's why, no matter what happens now, no matter what you have to tell me, I'll always be your son. That's never going to change. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't looking forward to finding out, but it's not the big deal it once was anymore. <laughs> Thank you, son. I was going to do that. <laughs> I should be the one thanking the two of you. <laughs> I feel like crying. Your parents are amazing, Reen. I'm truly happy for you, Reen. Well, guess it's time to go. Take care, Reen. I know you can do it. Come back safely, all of you. We'll be right here to welcome you back. Right! Nobody actually said we will. Yes, you're right. I'm sure he'll be able to handle it. Indeed. All we can do is believe in him and pray that Adios watches over him from above. That was unexpected. 
I didn't think your parents knew who your biological family was, Reen. Sounds like they don't know everything about them, though. You don't remember anything about your childhood before you were taken in by them, do you? Unfortunately not. My earliest memory is waking up in this house. I was in bed, and Elise was by my side. <laughs> that, that's, no, that's not what he means. He doesn't mean it that way. It just sounds bad. It's not, it didn't, it was, it was poorly, poorly, poorly uh, uh, translated. It was, no, no, no. I mean, technically, they're not really brother and sister, so it's okay. No. Wait, no, that's not my earliest memory. There was something before that. Oh, Idios, if you're listening, hear me now. Please, allow this child. Reen, are you all right? Oh, no, I'm fine. I think we've stayed here long enough. We should probably get moving. Huh? I feel a strange chill coming from somewhere. Is it coming from the valley? Might be good to look into it if we have the time. The path to Glacial Shrine is now open. The entrance to it is accessible from partway along Ymir Valley 1. Secret dungeon! That's why I actually came here, in case you guys were wondering. I didn't know there was going to be all that extra cuts and stuff. Uh, 